My name is Brock Drury and I'm a research assistant and I work at the Queen's Medical Research Institute. Uh, so that's part of Edinburgh University. Plan, I actually always start my week planning out what kind of questions I want to ask and what kind of experiments I need to do. Is I've learned that you, you need to plan a lot as a scientist. What you're seeing here is a particular type of immune cell in your body. So this is a type of white blood cell you have hundreds of millions of them circulating around your blood. This is what some of your white blood cells would look like if you could see them up close. Usually you can't see them because they're very, very small. If you get an infection, if you get a cut in your finger, you get microbes moving into your body, these cells respond to the infection and stop it from spreading. So they can spew out the contents of their cell and this will actually physically trap the microbe that's in your body. So it's literally just like Spider-Man throwing out his nets to trap microbes and stop them from, from spreading around your body and causing infection. So welcome to the lab. So this is where we spend the other half of our time when we're not um, on looking at images on the computer or analyzing data. This machine here um, is called a centrifuge. It spins substances really, really quickly and that allows you to separate out different proteins and different DNA and different substances in your body. Another example is this uh, vortex here. So we use this to mix samples. So when I press the tube onto here, it basically mixes the sample like that. Uh, it just basically jiggles around and you can mix samples. One of the challenges I always had through high school and through university, I think I've never been someone who learns things very quickly. I am very good at remembering things once I've got them in my head. It takes a while for me to kind of read through things slowly and step by step to fully understand them. And I think that's quite important is to fully understand something. You might need to go more slowly rather than rushing through it. There are lots of challenges of working as a scientist. When you run an experiment, it might not go the way you want it to go. It's always important to look at your results and think, well, what can we do next, rather than sort of getting upset that your things aren't going the way you want. I think if I could give my younger self advice, uh, it would be to just keep just keep working hard. Don't don't get so worried about what's going to happen in the future. A lot of us worry about you know, whether we're good enough or not. If you just look at the steps in front of you and, and work hard through it, that's how I've got to where I am now and I didn't really need to worry about it as much. If you have an interest in science, it's really good to just go with what you find the most interesting. I always found that learning about how my body works is really interesting, so I always went with biology. It's very hard to, to make yourself good at something that you, you're not interested in, you don't really, um, you don't feel, really find enjoyment in, so I think doing something you find the most interest and the most enjoyment, that's, that's where you should go ultimately, I think.